Hello, my name is Kudzai, and today we're discussing a recent alert from the FDA regarding compounded moxifloxacin. If you're watching us on YouTube, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we post new updates. You can also follow us on social media under Eagle Analytical. The FDA has issued an alert to healthcare professionals of the risks associated with intraocular use of compounded moxifloxacin. We have Dr. David Husong here to give us more information. So it was about two weeks ago the FDA issued an alert for healthcare professionals, and these are of course also for the public, about some risks associated with intraocular use of the drug moxifloxacin. The drug is often used after cataract surgery or other eye surgeries, and the purpose is to prevent infections after a surgery. So it's a, uh, a preventative step. Now the problem is there is no moxifloxacin approved by FDA for intraocular use after surgery. That would be prophylactic in injections. What has been reported is a number of cases of toxic anterior segment syndrome, or TAS. TAS happens when something irritates the inside of the eye. It's often associated with an injection of something that irritates the surfaces of the eye. The eye is kind of unique in that there's very little blood flow associated with it. There's a closed uh, chamber, and there's just a little bit of vascular surface around it. So a toxic item in there would irritate that interior surface. The solution inside the eye is very viscous, so it doesn't exchange easily, as you might expect with a, a a product injected into the bloodstream. So FDA had received 29 reports of people with TAS, and these were associated with mostly cataract surgery, and there is, again, no injection product for prevention of these infections in the eye. Moxifloxacin is often used as an eye drop. That's a topical drug. The solution is applied to the surface of the eye. It does not get in the eye, but it prevents infections on those mucous surfaces around the eye. So that's a very effective treatment for people with a certain eye infections, not interior. What has been happening is compounders will take the drug and use either a, an inappropriate drug raw material or they'll use the eye drop and reformulate it and put it in syringes for injection. Now, depending on how that reformulation works, it's very likely that they cannot bring it to the standard that is safe for an injection into the eye. Again, the eye is very sensitive but there are many things that will irritate it, including, for example, endotoxins, which are common in topical drug products. Topical drug products are prepared using purified water. Purified water is not water for injection. They differ primarily in the presence of endotoxins. Endotoxins in even fairly small amounts will create irritation in the eye. Further, the dosing of moxifloxacin is very critical. It can be found to irritate surfaces in the eye at higher doses. And the number of uh, cases seem to be associated with increased dosing of the moxifloxacin. So we have those issues to contend with. You have to know what doses are being used what the source of the product is. And the topical drugs are uh, often formulated differently. One formulation contains, for example, a thickening agent called xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is known to cause irritation in the eye. So if that were injected, you have potential for TAS reactions. 
Now this is an old problem, not so much just for moxifloxacin. We've saw, we saw this about 10 or 12 years ago with a drug called Avastin. Avastin is an anti-cancer drug. It's also effective when used against age-related macular degeneration. And Avastin was then used off-label. It's not approved for this purpose. Used off-label, reformulated, and injected into the eye of patients with macular degeneration. The result of this was also task-related events, some including blindness. So it's important for practitioners to know how the product was formulated, where it was put together. Pharmacists should be aware when they compound this. We've provided a link in the description section and on our website, which leads to the FDA alert. To learn more about Eagle and to stay connected with the latest science-based information, visit our website at www.eagleanalytical.com. <laughs>